How's it going everybody? Taxus Man here. I hope that you guys are all having a great day. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the very quick and easy way to unlock the Centrifuge Catalyst. The Centrifuge, of course, is a new exotic auto rifle here within Destiny 2 Lightfall, aka Season of the Deep. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to acquire the weapon. If you guys, uh, the, the Catalyst. I already have a weapon guide of how to get the weapon here itself. Uh, if you guys have missed out on that video, you can find it in the either How to Unlock playlist or you can find it in the Destiny 2 playlist here on my channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Over 80% of you guys that watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure you guys check that. And also make sure you guys hit that bell notification button and you guys select all for all notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on a single video or stream here on the channel. I upload regularly and I stream not only for Destiny 2, but Halo, Battlefield, and a bunch of other single player games as well. So, to get the Centrifuge Catalyst, first you're going to need to go and get the quest to kick it off itself, which is the High Voltage Quest. So you're going to have to come over here to Banshee 44 here within the tower to get the High Voltage Quest. The first step of the quest is that you're going to need to kill targets rapidly with auto rifles and defeat targets with arc final blows. And the arc final blows can be from abilities, they can be from supers, all you have to do is do that. Uh, I would recommend that you just equip whatever arc subclass you have. Obviously, I'm a Warlock main, so I'm going to be running my Stormcaller. And then you don't have to necessarily run the Centrifuge weapon itself. You can use other weapons um, that deal arc damage itself. So, like, if, you know, I had an arc weapon here in my inventory right now, I could run that and use it. Obviously, I Strangely, I don't have any other arc weapons right now. <laughs> but I can use other arc weapons if I wanted to. I don't have to necessarily use the center fuse for this step. Um, best way that I would recommend is just run some salvage missions, run deep sight, or just run some strikes. Uh, and you'll get that completed. The third step is that you're going to need to defeat targets with the weapon itself. So this will require you to actually have to have the center fuse equipped. You're going to have to use it and you're going to have to get kills with it. You need to defeat targets with the weapon. And you're also going to need to complete strikes, gambit matches, crucible, and or seasonal activities. So like, you know, the deep sight or salvage operations or, you know, part, parts of the weekly missions um, that you're doing here within Season of the Deep. So while you're completing Into the Depths quests, you know, have that center fuse weapon equipped and you're killing things and you'll be making progress. Um... When, when you're doing things of Gambit, Crucible, or Strikes, you don't have to have the weapon equipped itself. Um, if you've gotten all the kills completed with the weapon, you just have to make sure that the weapon itself is sitting in your inventory, but you don't have to use it itself. Uh, the fastest way to get this part of the quest completed is to just grind the Nightfall Strikes, or what I've been doing is when Iron Banner shows up, I play you know those 18 matches of Iron Banner, and you'll get this done extremely fast. It's going to take you about a week or so to get this part of the quest done. But I think it's going to be worth it. And then the last step of the quest is you're going to have to come right back here to the tower, to Banshee44. And he will give you the catalyst itself. Now, once you get the catalyst, you still have to um, defeat targets using this weapon to actually be able to equip it. But that's how you unlock the catalyst and then of course you have to get a bunch of kills with the weapon here itself to be able to equip it and the catalyst here for the center fuse is while it's while the weapon itself is amplified the weapon gradually gains overcharge so this catalyst goes um, hand in hand with its the weapon's intrinsic trait of overcharge capacitor so sprinting sliding and firing this weapon builds a temporary electronic charge increasing range and reload speed final blows with the high charge cause explosions and maximum charge explosions blind targets so this catalyst basically makes your intrinsic trait intrinsic trait uh more powerful so uh, if you're not a fan of auto rifles, you're not a fan of this weapon itself in general, then this catalyst is not going to help you out much. Um, this weapon, I think, is a decent auto rifle, but as far as it being an exotic, I really don't like enjoy running it constantly. If I had to use an auto rifle, um, I would rather, honestly, use the Quicksilver Storm, just because it is a strand weapon, and you get that um, strand abilities, you get the grenade launcher... You get, you know, 
micro rockets. I think that's a better auto rifle in my opinion compared to here for the center fuse. So my my opinion. So all right, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have a great day. Look forward to more content coming out soon. Bye guys.